not now. You are a disgrace. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Oh, Batman, how awesome of a fighter you truly are. Who wouldn't want to be able to have a rock-hard punch or lightning-fast kick like you? Which begs the age-old question, how hard does Batman actually hit? Hello, learners. Welcome to Trick Science. Teaching tricks through the power of science, and games, and comic books, and sometimes other stuff. Now, without further ado, it's time to finally see how hard the one and only Dark Knight hits. Oh wait, you're telling me there are literally over a hundred different versions of Batman across the DC multiverse? With each Batman having a slightly different backstory and feats of strength depending on the writer? I just wanted to make a video scientifically analyzing the guy's punches and kicks. But not to worry, because generally Batman's backstory of him going away to train with different teachers across the globe has stayed relatively the same. At least for the comic books. Meaning we can still assume his physical strength is relatively always the same. So just bear with me here. However, we will still be focusing on the mainstream Batman on Earth Prime, at least when examining his history and physical feats. Now let's get started. In order to understand how freakishly hard Batman undoubtedly punches baddies, we're going to start by analyzing the guy's physical strength and some of his impressive physical feats. Batman is said to have reached the peak of physical fitness for a human, with his strength, speed, reflexes, stamina, coordination, and agility being at the peak of human perfection. He is often portrayed at being 6 feet 2 inches and weighing around 210 pounds. In some stories, Batman is noted at being able to bench press raw over 1,000 pounds. The current world record for a raw bench press is 739.6 pounds. Batman does one-handed tricep cable extensions with 300 pounds, and thanks to a book released by DC called The Batman Files, we can see in a copy of Batman's workout routine that he deadlifts around 620 pounds for 5 repetitions, squats 525 pounds for 5 repetitions, and does a 20 mile run on his off day, averaging 4 minutes and 50 seconds per mile. Obviously, if you do look at this whole plan, you can tell it was written by a writer who may or may not know a lot about weightlifting. So what are some of Batman's awesome to downright bizarre physical feats? Well, Batman has dodged pistol fire at near point-blank range, or at about 10 feet away from what appears to be a Glock 17, which has a muzzle velocity of around 380 meters a second, or 1,247 feet per second. Assuming the gun was pointed at Batman's center of mass, and Batman's width from shoulder to armored shoulder is 21 inches, with half of that being the distance he actually needs to move, Batman would have to move at 33 meters a second, or 74 miles per hour in order to dodge the bullet. Adding the fact that Batman is moving from a standing position, he would have to accelerate at 8,292 meters a second squared, or at 845 times Earth's gravity. Astronauts normally experience a maximum G-force of around 3 Gs during a rocket launch, while Batman is experiencing 845 Gs just to dodge bullet fire. Pilots of the X-15 hypersonic research plane, or the fastest manned aircraft in the world, experienced a G-force around 8 Gs. The proposed nuclear Vern gun, or space gun, which would use nuclear bombs to shoot around 3,000 tons of material into space per shot, propels objects with around 5,000 Gs. Okay, maybe that last one doesn't drive my point, but still, Batman is accelerating insanely fast for a human. Batman has also undergone a brawl where he ended up taking on opponent after opponent for 28 hours straight just because he refused to kill, and it only stopped because no one else had the guts to face him. Batman has also stood in a sub-zero waterfall completely unaffected by its freezing temperatures. This is impressive since most people would get hypothermia and have their organs start shutting down standing in air that's 30 degrees below zero after just 10 minutes, let alone water which conducts heat away from the body 25 times faster than air. The guy has escaped from being buried alive in a coffin by pressing up over 600 pounds of dirt along with a heavy pine coffin lid. Oh, this one might be my favorite. 
after undergoing the highly advanced and dangerous Togol ritual, where Batman stayed shut in a completely dark Nepali cave for 49 days straight, he then sat down to have a nice, relaxing cup of tea with a monk, and managed to switch their teacups when the guy blinked. You know, just in case it was poisoned. A single human eye blink on average lasts about one-tenth of a second or 100 milliseconds. That's some crazy fast hands, Batman. Seeing how the monk didn't notice, and then told Batman that he was going to die because his cup was poisoned. Haha, -ha, joke's on you, sucker. Batman has also beat the crap out of and then tied up a lion while inside a car. He's resisted the pull of an extremely large jet engine comparable to, if not larger than the size of today's beastly Boeing 777, which puts out over 110,000 horsepower. Smaller plane engines have been known to easily suck up people, let alone large ramp equipment. Batman has also survived in Krypton conditions where he moved around seemingly for hours under five times the gravity of Earth. It has been estimated that the average human bone can withstand pressures up to 90 times Earth's gravity while standing still. This may not seem extreme, but once we start moving around, the stress on our bones increases by a factor of 10, meaning that we could run around on a planet with a gravitational field 10 times stronger than that of Earth before our bones would start to break. But the real kicker here is that none of this matters if you don't have the muscular strength to move around. You see, most people wouldn't be able to hardly sit up in five times Earth's gravity, let alone walk around. This is because you would have to squat an enormous amount of weight every time you decide to simply stand up. It would be like a 110 pound person having to squat 550 pounds or a 210 pound person having to squat 1,050 pounds just to get out of their chair. Half Thor, who weighs 425 pounds, was able to impressively walk just five steps carrying a 1,430 pound log on his back. So keep it up, Batman, you muscular beast. We're all looking up to you. Continuing on to what's possibly even more impressive and crucial to this video is Batman's outrageous skills as a martial artist. In quite a lot of iterations, Batman has been said to have mastered 127 forms of martial arts. So, pretty much everything? Which brings us to how much force does this insanely fast, muscle-bound paragon of a human actually hit with? In order to find this, we need to find the mass of Batman's armor leg and then the acceleration of his armor leg towards his unfortunate target. I mean, you gotta really have done something wrong to end up with Batman fiercely punching you in the face. We can measure the mass of a person's arm being around 6% of their total body weight, while their leg is around 16.5%, meaning Batman's muscled arm weighs around 12.5 pounds, and one of his legs weighs around 35 pounds. Now, looking at instances where we can calculate Batman's acceleration, sorry comics, such as in Injustice, where Batman knocks out Superman cold with a punch thrown at a velocity of 57 miles per hour, and an acceleration of 1,012 meters a second squared, and thus a force of 5,784 newtons or 1,300 pounds of force. On the other hand, or foot, he then kicks Superman with a velocity of 36 miles per hour, or 1,571 pounds of force. Man, Batman in the games doesn't hold back. Then in movies such as Batman vs Superman, I really like the fight scene in this one, Batman sends a thug soaring across the room and then punches him with a velocity of 16 and a half miles per hour and thus a force of 416 pounds. He then kicks a hanging thug with a velocity of 25 miles per hour and a force of 464 pounds, sending him careening into another man before they explode like a fireworks display gone wrong. I know these numbers seem a little low, but I'm sure that's just cause the stun actor is, you know, stun acting and not actually trying to belt these guys in the face. Now putting Batman's strikes into context, professional boxers punches generally range between 446 pounds of force to 1066 pounds of force, with some elite boxers being able to punch with around 1300 pounds of force. 
Given that Batman's force was a lot greater in the games than the movies, his force is generally on par with, if not a little greater than most elite boxers, which it makes sense that it's not tremendously higher despite his extreme fighting skills. Because as big as he is, he also trains his body for quiet, stealthy movement, acrobatics, and general speed instead of just raw striking power. I mean, come on, the dude is pretty fast to keep disappearing like that. It only takes about 740 42 pounds of force to crack a person's rib, and around 900 pounds of force to crack a person's femur, with force that's applied perpendicular to a person's bone doing more damage than if the force was applied parallel. It is important to point out that Batman is able to hit so hard, not just because of his physical conditioning, but because he is also able to use his whole body to quickly and efficiently send his arm, leg, and sometimes knee at his opponents. Most skilled martial artists, for example Muay Thai fighters, are able to recruit their entire body mass into their punch and kick, with the best fighters getting so good at synchronizing the body movements that, even if they weigh a lot less than other fighters, they can still hit with a lot more newtons or pounds of force. And it's probably safe to say that Batman is a muscle controlling master, since he is also said to have mastered complete body control by the time he was 18. Jeez, what can't this guy do? I feel like I need to go meditate by the pool of sacred tears so I too can unravel the mysteries of harmony and focus.